you're new to 3D printing, I've got to tell you, 3D modeling is so easy, you can create award-winning designs in just minutes. Let me show you how. Okay, I was just kidding on that one, but here's the truth. You're gonna fail. You're gonna fail a lot. Your first model might break. Your second one might be the wrong size. And your third, it might be better, but it still doesn't work just like you would like. But that's not always a bad thing because every failure you have teaches you something that you can't learn from a tutorial. And once you really lean into that trial and error, well, that's when things really start to click. So in this video, I wanna walk you through three things that you actually need to create functional, usable 3D models that don't just sit on the shelf and look cool. Okay, number one, find a software that fits your brain. Don't worry about using what the pros use. Find a software that makes sense to you, that's easy for you to grasp. For me, it's Tinkercad. It's simple, intuitive, and lets you go from idea to prototype fast. There is no crazy learning curve, just you and some simple shapes that you can turn into just about anything you want. If you're interested in learning more about Tinkercad, check out my very first video in my new series, 3D Modeling Made Easy. I'll link it down below. But now it's time to move on to part two. Now, you need a problem. Great designs come from real needs, not from wanting to make something cool. Look around your room, look around your house, find something in your closet. Look for something that is broken or irritates you or you think you could make better. Finding where the problems are, that's where the best ideas tend to live. For example, this is my Steam Deck and this is the part that I 3D printed up for it. It solved a problem that I didn't even know I could fix until I started trying to 3D model it. And I'm not gonna lie, this is version four. <laughs> the first version didn't even work. It actually broke and version two was better. Version three was good, but it still was in the way and kind of, uh, kind of a hindrance. So finally, version four was where I had that eureka moment and I finally figured it out. And you know what, honestly, it's Velcroed on there. <laughs> it could be better, but we're still working towards that end goal. So that brings me to point three, understanding your size and space requirements. Designing in the real world means you need to understand the real world. And that means you need to start measuring things up. And that can be done either with a tape measure or with this bad boy right here. These are calipers. They measure in millimeters and they're fairly cheap to come by. I got these at Harbor Freight. You can get them at Walmart, Home Depot, or on Amazon between five and $35, depending on how big of a spender you wanna be. But with these, you can now understand all the dimensions you need to measure before you start modeling. Because nothing is worse than modeling something up, spending hours creating the design, printing it out, and then finally realizing that it's three inches too small. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not. So my advice to you is if you're just starting out, stop focusing on being perfect and focusing on learning what you need and just start modeling. With every print, you are going to get better and better. <laughs> and don't forget, your first few designs, they're gonna fail. Obviously, mine did too. But don't let that discourage you because on that third, fourth, or fifth one, it's gonna click and that is where the magic happens. So if you liked the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below some of the more spectacular fails you might've had or any designs or models you're interested in creating yourself. And don't forget to subscribe so that way you don't miss out on any more of this awesome content. I'll see you guys next time.